Thank you, Madam Speaker. And I want to thank my honorable colleague for a very thoughtful speech. We are in this place quite united in our desire to ensure that workplace harassment, sexual harassment, these kinds of activities are no longer tolerated or accepted in any part of our society, although this bill only goes, of course, to the, to the issues surrounding work um, in, within government and particularly here in Parliament. I also worked here many years ago when I was in the office of the Minister of Environment in the 1980s and can attest to knowing exactly how much uh, young women had to put up with and no person, no young woman or young man should ever have to put up with the kind of cavalier, oh well, boys will be boys, we let these things go by, we, we, we don't stand our ground. And I just want to ask her, I agree with her, I think this is a sea change. Madam Speaker, I think we're seeing a transformational change that's global in re-examining those things that were considered to be uh, patriarchy's right <laughs> to, to speak to women in different ways than you would speak to a male employee uh, without even giving it a second thought. So I'd just like to ask her if there are other places where she thinks this parliament can do more because I think this bill is certainly a good step, but it's not going to be enough to make a society-wide transformation. The Honourable Member for Oakville, North Burlington. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I, I thank the Honourable Member for her, um, for her work on this issue and for her question, and, and she's absolutely right. Um, legislation can only go so far. Uh, we, we had a lot of conversations at committee about the regulations that will accompany this, uh, this bill, and of course when it comes to political parties, we need a process within each party for staffers to come forward, and that's not something that will be legislated uh, within this bill, but we certainly need the opportunity for um, junior staff, for all staffers, to, to feel safe to come forward. In my opinion, it needs to be someone completely independent. It can't be done within the parties. I feel that, that um, staff need to be able to come forward to someone who is independent to share their concerns. And then once that has been done, then the legislation can, can kick in in terms of what the, um, the framework is. But I do think it's important for those processes to continue as we move forward. 